In this series, I am going to show you several examples of Norton equivalent circuit. See, Norton theorem states that we can reduce any two terminal linear bilateral network to a current source IN in parallel with a resistance RN as we can reduce any network to a single current source in parallel with a single resistor. That circuit will be known as Norton equivalent circuit. And these are the steps I will follow to convert any circuit to a Norton equivalent circuit. Draw the Norton equivalent circuit across the load resistor RL equal to 24 ohm. See this is our load resistor RL. This is A terminal, let's say this is B terminal. So we have to draw the Norton equivalent circuit with respect to this A and B terminals. So at first step we will separate the load resistor RL from the network. Let's say I separated the load resistor RL from the network and keep that load resistor of 24 ohm here. After that, we will calculate the open circuit resistance or Norton resistance Rn across A, B terminals. While calculating the Norton resistance, we will replace the voltage sources in the circuit with a short circuit and the current sources with open circuits. Now see, we will calculate Norton resistance with respect to A and B terminals. While calculating Norton resistance, we will replace the voltage sources with short circuit that means we will replace this single voltage source with a short circuit so our circuit will look like this see i replaced the voltage source with a short circuit and this was our a terminal and this was our b terminal now see what will be this norton resistance this norton resistance will be the equivalent resistance of the circuit with respect to this a and b terminals here you will see this 5 ohm and this 15 ohm resistances will be in parallel with respect to A and B terminals. Therefore, this Rn will be the equivalent parallel resistance of 5 and 15, which will be equal to 5 get multiplied with 15 over 5 plus 15, which will be equal to 3.75 ohm. So if I draw the complete Norton equivalent circuit, our circuit will look like this. This is our load resistance RL, which is equal to 24 ohm. This will be the Norton resistance RN, which I have calculated 3.75 ohm. After that, we will calculate Norton current IN. To calculate Norton current, at first we have to connect the AB terminals with a short path. We, after that we will calculate the short circuit current or Norton current through that AB path. See this is our A terminal and this is B terminal. If I connect A and B terminals with a short path, the current that will be flowing through this AB path will be our Norton current. Now look here, you may use mesh, super mesh, nodal, super node, superposition, KVL, KCL, voltage divider rule, current divider rule. You have to use your intuition to find out which method is easier to apply in that circuit, in that specific circuit to calculate the Norton current IN. Now see, if you look at this circuit, you will see we will have a short path across this 5 ohm resistor. Therefore, there will be no current flow through this 5 ohm resistor or we can ignore this 5 ohm resistor from the given network or we can discard this 5 ohm resistor from the given network as there is no current flow so there will be no voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor. The rest of the circuit will look like this and this will be a very simple circuit. You will see we have this single voltage source of 12 volt and this single resistance of 15 ohm and this circuit is a series circuit so if 
I use simple Ohm's law in the circuit, I will get not on current. As this is a series circuit and the current through AB path is not on current, this IN will flow all over the circuit and this IN will remain same because in series circuit there is no division of current. So how do we calculate not on current IN here? I will simply use Ohm's law 12 volt over 15 Ohm. You can use whichever method you are conversant with. So here, not on current will be equal to 0 0.8 ampere. Now see, we calculated this not on current which is a positive value. When not on current will be positive, the direction of not on current source IN will be in upward direction. If the not on current IN is negative, the direction of the not on current source will be in downward direction. As here IN is positive and it has a magnitude of 0.8 ampere. The direction of not on current source will be in upward direction and not on current source will have a value of 0.8 ampere and this will be the complete Norton equivalent circuit of the given network. Okay, that's it. Thank you.